vision. Mother will continue today with the astrological uh, description, not description, but the, the goal of each astrological sign in this incarnation. Welcome, Mother. Thank you. So now we're at uh, Sagittarius, yeah. and we, you have four or more signs to cover, so Sagittarius to Pisces. Yes. So what's up with the Sagittarius? What's the goal of the Sagittarius in, the, in, uh, in this incarnation? Well, this is a good expression because the Sagittarius needs to have a goal. <laughs> he has a, mm. an arc and where will his arrow end up? What, what's the goal in his life? And you will see that Sagittarius is a, in a very profound way a seeker. Where to put my energies? where to invest in what will bring me the best harvest the, 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 he's busy with, with where he can invest his capital in, in a psychological or in a concrete way what will give me the best results where shall I go to how can I come furthest that's his way of dealing with things he doesn't want to take a long road if he can take a shorter one because that's where he wants to go. Or he has no goal and has to seek a goal because he will feel abandoned in, in the midst of all kinds of currents in himself or in life. And he feels that he's like a ship on the ocean without, um, without a compass. So he needs a compass, he needs to know where he's going and why. And um, there's a whole kind of reflection in the life of a Sagittarius around that. Even if you will not see it from the outside at first sight. Where am I going? Where does this lead to? What will that give? What are the consequences? On long term, on short term. My energies, I put them in what? So I will not have them at, the, at my disposal in other domains of my life. That is Sagittarius kind of, of, of thinking. But it's not, of, not always conscious. And that's also for the other signs that I already described. It's not always completely conscious. But if you dig deeper in their life, that's what you will see. If I go on behaving like this, in 10 or 20 years, what will that give? There can be good advisors or counselors because it's that kind, this kind of thinking that, that's deeply rooted in them. This study brings you there. For to, to be able to do this study, you need that and that and that. Mm. They are thinking in today and tomorrow. Okay. Um, what do you have? And if you want, want to uh, start an enterprise, what will you need? Is this enough what you have? Do you need other things? They think in this and that. What will it give towards the future, tomorrow, or a bit later today? But it's the movement of what we have or what we should have, what we need, and then where, where, where do we want to go? And is this sufficient what we have? That's typically a, a movement for the Sagittarius. They, they can be in their own way ahead of their time, not in a Sagittarius way, but they have to think about tomorrow because where are we going? Okay. But they are busy with the goal, where it will lead to. Whereas Aquarius will be busy with, where, yes, that's a good idea, what kind of ideas, uh, on what kind of philosophical idea can we construct something. That's not Sagittarius. He, he, he will, it's like the logistics. Mm -hmm. He will furnish what we need together. Okay. Or once we are there, we will need something. It's that kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. it, it, uh, Sagittarius thinks in the direction of tomorrow or the future. For the well-being of the enterprise or, or uh, to, to make things uh, go smooth or to, so it will work. Even in education, if I give today this education, what will it give tomorrow? 
Is it the right baggage that I give to the children? Is it the right uh, education? The, 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 what can they do with it once they're, they're a destination? But you have to be Sagittarius to understand that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, 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 they will give you diet because they say, listen, if you follow this diet now in, in, in two months you will be better. You will say that many signs will, will can tell you that. Yes, but they have they have kind of thinking behind it. So they they're visionary in the little bit? No, no, they want to take you there. Okay. It's like a goal to take It's you a goal. There. I mean, uh, another doctor will tell you, yes, it's a good diet for you, but he will think about your body, about the, the heart you have, the, the health of your heart. A Sagittarius might think about that, but he's taking you towards a goal. No, it's like clear. It's like from... Now you are sick, and if we do this and that, then the goal will be okay. that you will become better. But you need uh, to, uh, to, to be more profound in your thinking to, to understand that. Functioning. If you're not Sagittarius, and even if you are one, think about it, meditate on it, and you will see that's the way it works with those people. Even though they're, though they're not aware of it. But they have this organ, this uh, okay, sparrow. That's a good rep yes, and they want to go somewhere. They aim, they yeah. aim for something. And that's their strength. They think about how we can get from A to B and what we need on the road and what we need once we get there. Whereas others will think about other things, naturally. Wow. That's their thing. If you keep them on the spot with a cover, a lid on their head, oh well, they will die because they, they, they take off the lid and they say, no, I want to go there. I need this this space psychologically or, or concrete in conc is it a vision too? It's it's a vision but, but their aim is to, to, to go the path towards. Okay. They will not stay on spot. They will walk towards the, the, okay. the if they cannot walk towards their goal they will get sick. No, they, they will put themselves on the road towards in, in the direction of their vision or their goal. That's Sagittarius. Now Capricorn is another sign. Capricorn uh, um, sees a world in, this, in a certain form. It's an earth sign. Peace. Capricorn sees a world in the form of a mountain. There's a summit. And on, on the summit there's just place for one, for one, one person. <laughs> and around it you can put other persons, but it has a point. And, um, and then it gets broader towards the, the, when you get down, towards the base. Now the question is, in the life of a, of a Capricorn, who shall I put on, on top? It can be myself, it can be somebody else. That person has a res responsibility, it's the head of the whole of the, the pyramid. That person has a responsibility for everything that's uh, working under him. And at the same time, it's no use being on top and being the summit if there's no, not a bear, if, they, if the mountain has, if, if, if it stops there. The Capricorn will learn the difference between a line that ends up somewhere in, in, in the air and then they are all alone in the sky. Or a pyramid with, that gradually goes up. Mm -hmm. There is on, on top of it one person. Okay, there can be a head of something, a, a, a responsible person. But this person needs all the rest. And all the rest needs also this person. So what a Capricorn will learn is interaction between the top of the mountain or of the pyramid and, and the base. And if a uh, uh, Capricorn cuts him or her, herself off of the rest, mm -hmm. because the Cap Capricorn very often is a person uh, and, and with an inclination to, to be on top of something or responsible for something, uh, uh, the head of something, if they cut themselves off from the rest of the pyramid, then the problem, problems arise. 
in their lives. They can become sick, they can become, have uh, difficulties from any kind of sort of difficulties. But it has to do with a functioning that's something that does not function between the base of the pyramid and the top. They have to learn to function in two directions and to have this interaction whilst knowing that, they, that there's no reason to be on the top if there's not mm. the rest of it. The top doesn't exist without the rest of it. And, the rest, and, and, and it's even important to have this body, this pyramid. You have the responsibility. You, you, you have the... the everything that's beneath you. It, it has a life to sustain, that should be sustained uh, functioning. And we should, should take each other, have respect for each other and take each other into consideration. We cannot do as if it doesn't, doesn't exist. We all exist and we have to work together. The head and the body. Mm. But that's the life of, uh, of, of uh, Capricorn and not cutting themselves off from the rest of it. They are very good uh, responsibles, but as long as they stay in touch with the rest okay. of it. Yeah. Um, Aquarius, an air sign. An Aquarius will live um, very often in the world of, of uh, an ideolo ideology of ideas. They can be very visionary in their way. They, they, their world is the world of the ideal. A humanitarian ideal. ideal for, an ideal for the, the, yeah, the rest of humanity. Their strength is the idea of all together. We are together. We have, we are. It makes me think about the Capricorn, but they are dealing less with who's responsible and who's on top of it. Mm -hmm. They are mainly part of the whole. In, in their idea, they do not seek to be uh, at the center. They, they want to be part of the whole. But um, their difficulty is this freedom aspect. I mean, in being a part of the whole and having an ideolo ideology, um, yes, the freedom, what's a, a main factor in their lives is how can we uh, bring together the freedom of man with coexistence? Mm. I think that's the, 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 the stru frame, stru the structure of the ideolo ideology mm -hmm. of the Aquarius. We are all together, we have to do it together, but if you and I are free, how do we do? Because when we work together, we're not so free. They have to, 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 to they will learn that your freedom is in your consciousness. And in a paradoxical way, your freedom will be lived inside when you do what you should do as a part of the, the big chain. The, the, the paradox in their lives is when they, do, when they don't play the game anymore, when they do not anymore what they want to have to do and they say, I want to be free, then they will get extremely limited and restricted. They will leave it. Hmm. As soon as they accept to play their part honestly and to function in what they feel as a a whole uh, machine that's uh, and they are just uh, a small wheel in it but as long as the machine functions and they play the, they play their part while the, the because the fact that the machine because of the fact that the machine functions smoothly they will have their freedom whereas when they start to to ask things for themselves and they want to be free the machine doesn't work anymore because it stops. And then they will get limited because they're not fed anymore by the machine and, and, and they are... It's a stop. So they have to see life as a, a big machinery in somehow, mm -hmm. in some way, or an organism where everything has to play its part in a smooth and... and, 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 and um, it should flow, it should go on. Mm -hmm. And each part has to do what it has to do and then it will flow. 
then they will have the feeling that, that they are free. But as soon as they say, and now I want my vacation, <laughs> when it's not the moment, of course they have right to, to the right, for, but naturally the machine will have hours when it does not work. When you accept that, everything is all right. When they say suddenly, I want my vacation, oh well then they will be more limited than ever because the whole of the machine will stop <clears throat> and it will be become a problem for, for all the parts. Mm -hmm. And that's a very, that's a paradox in their life that is very interesting. When I play my part, I will feel free. When I seek my freedom, I will get more and more limited. A very strange uh, phenomenon. But that's their uh, experience, and I think it's very interesting. Because then they can see that they can, can, can incarnate their ideal, the ideal of humanity that's uh, a whole, and that's working together for brotherhood and peace, and, and it works, mm -hmm. if everybody does what he's asked to do. Mm -hmm. um, Pisces, it's the last sign. Pisces is a sign uh, that's difficult to understand, I think, for, for people that are not Pisces. Because it has a vague kind of, 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 of um, characteristic. I mean, um, very often I can understand that for many people the, the movements of Pisces are not very clear. You can even sometimes ask yourself what they do there. But that's their... their uh, uh, their way of being. In fact, uh, a Pisces is a kind of being there because you have to be there even if you don't know why you, are, why you have to be there and um, giving yourself to the whole. When, even when it doesn't seem to make sense. And, it's, and that's what we call the sacrifice. In the lives of Pisces, there's a part of sacrifice that escapes them. Either they do it completely naturally, and everybody asks themselves why they do it, but they don't, it doesn't make sense for, for other people. And even they don't know it. They only know that that is what they have to do, but because in any way there's nothing else. And that's what, what, what is very uh, difficult to understand for, 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 for this world, because it has to do with some kind of mystical approach to life. It's like the nurse that, um, even though she doesn't seem to do much important things, she, she just comes with a glass of water, well, I do not want to say that all nurses do the, uh, behave like that, but you, the Pisces is like a nurse. She might just come with a glass of water. And it's sufficient. Or, 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 or uh, put on the light at night when she feels that, that there's an, uh, a child that is scared in the dark. You will say, well, that's nothing. But it's the gesture at that yeah. moment that yeah. solves the problem. Yeah. That's the life of a Pisces. They make, they have to make in this life the gesture or, or they have to do the function or they have to do that thing that solves the problem even mm -hmm. though it seems nothing from the outside mm -hmm. because it's completely vague. Yeah, it's like little angels. <laughs> it's a bit like the work of an angel, but, uh, well, they're human, but um, you, you hardly understand what it's about. The only thing you can say is they're, they're, they quite have a good feeling about environments and they, they, they can tell you what's wrong and they will try to make up for, for what's not right uh, psychologically. So if they feel the tension, they say, okay, I'm going to make the coffee. Mm. That will break the tension. That's quite the Pisces way of, of dealing with, with, uh, with life. And, and those little... Because th their difficulty is they... They, they, they seem insignificant. Yes, they, right. s they seemingly make in insignificant gestures or, or their life seems almost uh, made up out of um, insignificant things. They might even loathe 
of their own life or not like themselves because they say, I, I don't do anything. But that's not it. They are there for, as the, the, the nurse, for, to bring the glass of water uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning when all the others sleep. Because they are awake and they feel the problem. So it has a sense. But it's, it's a sense that's a, that goes over mundane daily life. Yeah. Because it, 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 it's things that play in, 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 in little corners of life or at moments during the night that everybody's asleep. That it has to do with, with dealing with the unseen, with insignificant things, with small sacrifices that seem nothing. But they're crucial on the moment when they're given. Because nobody else does it. Mm -hmm. And it should be done. So that, that's a very strange uh, way of, of, of um, doing your task in the world. The, the typically Pisces... Uh, Man, uh, he is always at his desk there in the corner. We have the impression he has not much to do, but when he's not there anymore, we miss him. <laughs> so then you can ask yourself, what did he do? <laughs> well, that's spices. Mm -hmm. We don't know why he's there, but if he's not there, something is lacking. For sure. <laughs> that's, that should bring us to the reflection, then what is his word and what is he doing? But most of us do not go so far, we stay on the surface and we just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And we judge him because that's easy. Mm -hmm. But that's not the right approach. Because there is a reason for this man to be there and to, to do that. Even though you cannot see at first sight what it is about. Thank you, Mother. Such a gift every every uh, videos. I hope that you enjoy it and that you can appreciate how lucky we are to, to be able to listen to such wisdom. Um, so I hope you can include all this knowledge in your daily lives and uh, listen to the beautiful song at the end of this video and we wish you a very nice day. A uh, bientôt. Millions of years have gone by since you put your first steps on the earth Millions of years have gone by Since you first came here to birth Millions of times you've watched it Things and people passed away Millions of times you've watched it Nothing ever stayed Oh, God, you still Just
Dream.